Good morning everyone, hope you're well today. Um, on Sunday evening I was uh, I was running and uh, I was listening to a song by uh, a band or a pairing that I, I really I really love called Shane and Shane. I'm sure Hannah Moore might give me some grief for that because I, I mention their names quite often. But two really talented singers and talented musicians as well. And there's a song that they sing, it's called Taste and See and it's based on well, it's almost the exact words, in fact, from Psalm 34. And every time I hear it, it gives me goosebumps, to be honest. Um, and I've got, I've got, I'll add the link below so you can listen to it yourself. Um, yeah, listen to the lyrics and yeah, just to meditate on it. But this morning, I just wanted to reference a few, a few of the verses from the psalm which stand out to me the most. And yeah, I think they're probably definitely something that's worth thinking about and considering. Um, the, the psalm itself, as I'm sure many people already know, was written at a bit of a strange time uh, in, da in David's life, a time when he pre David pretended to be insane so that he could be set free by uh, Abimelech. Uh, there's references from Psalm, uh, sorry, from uh, 1 Samuel, chapter 21, um, so that Abimelech would send, send him away. And Psalm 34, I'll read. I'll read it out. It's it's quite long, but I'll I'll read it out, and you can you can also follow in, if you, in your Bibles if you want to pause and and follow along with me. But Psalm 34, it says, "I will praise the Lord at all times. My mouth will continually praise Him. I will boast in the Lord. Let the oppressed hear and rejoice. Magnify the Lord with me. Let us praise His name together. I sought the Lord's help, and He answered me." He delivered me from all my fears. Look to him and be radiant. Do not let your faces be ashamed. This oppressed man cried out and the Lord heard. He saved him from all his troubles. The angel of the Lord camps around the Lord's loyal followers and delivers them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. How blessed is the one who takes shelter in him. Fear the Lord, you chosen people of his. For those who fear him lack nothing. Every young lion sometimes lack food and are hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Come children, listen to me. I will teach you what it means to fear the Lord. Do you want to really live? Would you love to live a long, happy life? Then make sure you don't speak evil words or use, decept or use deceptive speech. Turn away from evil and do what is right. Strive for peace and promote it. The Lord pays attention to the godly and hears their cry for help. But the Lord opposes evildoers and wipes out all memory of them from the earth. The godly cry out and the Lord hears. He saves them from their troubles. The Lord is near the brokenhearted. He delivers those who are discouraged. The godly face many dangers, but the Lord saves them from each one of them. He protects all his bones. Not one of them is broken. Evil people self-destruct. Those who hate the godly are, pu are punished. The Lord rescues his servants. All who take shelter in him escape punishment. A few verses that I want you to just pay, atten pay attention to quickly, just four verses or so, um, that, yeah, that really stand out to me. Uh, it's verse three, where it says, Magnify the Lord with me. Let us praise his name together. I love that David is, is calling others to magnify the Lord with him as though God needs to be magnified, but he's calling others to worship together and to acknowledge how good he is and to, yeah, to make him even bigger, to keep singing how big he is and to magnify his name together. Something that I'm sure a lot of us are looking forward to doing when, when we're allowed to sing properly again in church. Look at verse four as well, where it says, I sought the Lord's help and he answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. And this, this simple truth that's been proven, proven true over thousands of years, when God's people call on him, he's, he's loving enough and faithful enough to listen and to deliver. And I'm sure many of us have experienced it firsthand or something very similar in our own lives. And it's definitely a reason to, to magnify the Lord, that's for sure. In verse five, he says, look to him and be radiant. Do not let your faces be ashamed. The idea of being of being radiant or to kind of glow 
by keeping our focus on God is something that's really it's really beautiful, isn't it, and really powerful. And Paul mentions something similar in um, 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 3, uh, verse, verse 18. He references mirroring the glory of God. How amazing is that to, to think that by keeping our focus on God and relying more on him and less on ourselves, that we'll radiate his glory to the, those that are around us. Verse 6, it says, This oppressed man cried out and the Lord heard. He saved him from all his troubles. Again, that is that idea, isn't it, of being able to call and be heard by God who really cares about us. And God wants us, he wants us to cry out and to be, to be dependent on him. And verse 8, he says, Taste and see that the Lord is good. How blessed is the one who takes shelter in him. And there's a call from David there as he's writing the psalm to the reader or to the singer, as it would have been, to taste and see for yourself. Don't, don't take David's word for it. That's what he's saying. Don't take my word for it. Taste and see for yourself. Call upon him and, and use your senses to understand how good he is. And to, to rest and to take shelter in him. So I'd, I'd encourage you to well, follow the link to the song below and have a listen to it. Hopefully you'll enjoy it. I'm sure you will. And have a, have a read of the psalm yourself. I read in um, Enduring Word Commentary that the psalm was written originally as a bit of an acrostic poem uh, kind of fashion with most of the verses starting with a, a different letter of the, of the Hebrew alphabet. Apparently that made it much easier to, for, for people to remember off by heart, which it, it wouldn't be a bad one to learn off by heart, would it, if you, if you had that in your memory to fall back on when times got tough. Maybe a challenge for people there. Have a great day, everyone. See you soon.